Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. My name is Lumen and right now we're talking BlizzCon 2013. And I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait to talk about it and I can't wait for BlizzCon which is just like two days away. It's gonna be so much fun. Not staying up till like 4 a.m. in the morning. That's not gonna be fun. No. I'm not gonna enjoy that so much. But I'm staying up for good reason. There's gonna be good stuff to watch and I am no doubt gonna enjoy the lot of it. So, before I carry on any further here, I will mention that I got a beverage. I also have a Nero on the couch that is competing with me for noise levels. He's busy chewing a bone and he always does this. Whenever I start recording anything, when I start raising my voice to say something in front of my PC, he does that. What he's doing right there, if he's got something to chew or to like play with, smack around the room, whatever, he does it. And I love him. I love him all the more for it. He's right here on the couch. And Eileen's busy playing Hearthstone over there, which also makes me super proud. Super, super, super proud. It's happening. <laughs> She's grown fond of the Druid class. Kind of cool. I kind of expected her to either go Druid or Priest. So it wasn't a big shocker for me. But it's nice. She actually got, in one of her first card packs, Sonorius. And that was after she decided to go with Druid. So, I don't know how that happened, but it did. She got super lucky. Now, back to BlizzCon 2013. It's happening on the 8th and 9th. As you no doubt know, I've got a newsman going out today sometime, talking about a lot of the stuff that's been announced before it. And I'm almost sure that Blizzard are going to announce something big, either tonight... So by the time this video goes up, it's probably already been released, or tomorrow sometime. Regarding something that's happening at BlizzCon. So like, maybe the new World of Warcraft expansion. Maybe something for Legacy of the Void. Something like that. They usually announce something big, at least one thing, before BlizzCon. And I'm kind of keen to see what that is. But, at BlizzCon, what we can expect to see... And I'm going to just cover that before I talk about what I'm the most excited for... We can expect to see some new stuff for Hearthstone, hear about some of the new features they're working on. There's not going to be a big expansion announcement or anything like that for Hearthstone because, well, the game hasn't really actually launched yet. So that would be silly. That would be completely silly. So we can expect something like that for Hearthstone. Then there's obviously also the Hearthstone Innkeepers Invitational. That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to watch that. Helene's actually going to watch that with me. It's going to be good. Because she's... And join Hearthstone at the moment. Then, StarCraft 2, I guess we can expect something for Legacy of the Void. It's been so long since we've heard anything about it, anything concrete at least. So we're going to see whatever they've been working on for that. I guess I'm excited for that, but I'll talk about my excitement in just a moment. Then, World of Warcraft. Now there have been rumors floating about the internet that the next expansion is called Warlords of Draenor. Ranor, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, but that could be interesting. Seeing that I would say their most popular expansion by far was Burning Crusade. In my eyes at least, I mean I enjoyed Burning Crusade the most by far. So if it's got something to do with Outland, if it's got the same kind of setting as Outland, it could be a big hit. And I think that is the perfect... Next step for them after something like Mists of Pandaria. It's going to be great. I think that's going to be super exciting. What I want to see from that... Can wait. Diablo 3. Reaper of Souls. I think we're just going to see a whole lot of new gameplay. They're going to talk about some of the new features more in-depthly. We might see things like those Nephilim runs or whatever. Kind of cool. I mean, there's a lot of Diablo 3 stuff that they could potentially show us, tell us about, that would excite us a whole lot. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Then there's the wild card of the show, Heroes of the Storm. That's their MOBA, their redesigned MOBA. And that is a wild card because we know absolutely nothing about it. We knew what it looked like. It looked like it was a mod made in the StarCraft 2 engine. But we don't know if that's the case anymore. They might have actually created a whole new engine for the game. Because they're going to be releasing this as a free-to-play game. So it wouldn't surprise me if they want to make something that's perhaps slightly less 
PC intensive, slightly smaller in size, like client size and all that, and something more visually fun. Because StarCraft II's engine is very sharp in how it looks. It's kind of, I would even call it hardcore looking in some ways. So I don't know if that would work with what they're going for with Heroes of the Storm, but I don't know yet. Then finally, there could be something else big announced at BlizzCon. Something random. Something that no one saw coming. I want to say something like Titan comes to mind. Project Titan that just got scrapped or whatever. But they said that they're not going to be talking about that anytime soon. So I doubt it. And they've got so much other stuff to work with. What's the point? I don't even care about other stuff. Because there's so much good stuff that's already been, you know, confirmed. Then in terms of tournaments, I've already mentioned the Hearthstone Innkeepers Invitational. There's the StarCraft 2 World Championship Series that's happening. Taking up a whole lot of time. Then there's the World of Warcraft Invitational. Don't know much about that. Don't usually follow it very much. Unless it's like the only thing on. And there's also a live raid for World of Warcraft. Could be interesting. And then I suppose the only other things worth mentioning would be... Things like the developer panels or whatever. That sort of fits in with the games themselves. The cosplay contest is happening. Definitely want to check that out if I can. And the closing act is Blink 182. Not a big fan. I... Don't think I'll stay up for that. Usually they announce some cool stuff at the end, but I can watch that the next morning. Perfectly fine doing that, or the next afternoon, whenever I end up waking up. But whatever. Now, I want to talk about what I want to see. Not what I expect, what I predict, but what I want to see from each of the games at BlizzCon. So I suppose it sort of links up with what I'm excited about. I'm probably most excited about Hearthstone, but that's mainly just because I'm playing it at the moment, and I'm kind of really into it at the moment, and I think it's just, just, just beating out Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls for me right now, because I'm super keen for that as well. I said before, when Reaper of Souls beta starts up, or when the game comes out, I'm going to be putting that on the channel a whole lot, because I want to get into that again. I think it's the kind of thing that, if done properly, Viewers will enjoy a whole lot, and it's the kind of thing that can be different from everyone else playing it. Because everyone plays it in a different way, with a different character, with a different build. It can be fun. It really can be. But for Hearthstone, hmm. I said I was... <coughs> mad. <laughs> I'm bad at drinking. I'm just bad at drinking. But I said I was... Obviously excited for the Innkeeper's Invitational. That's going to be fun. No doubt about it. But in terms of what I want to see, I would like a spectator mode. Because for me, as a commentator covering Hearthstone, that'll just make things so much more fun. Being able to watch others play, watch either live matches or replays of games, that would be so cool. I suspect they're going to debut, debut, not debut, debut something like that alongside the Innkeeper's Invitational. I don't know if they're going to, but if they don't, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to swing it. How are they going to watch both players' perspectives at the same time? How are the shoutcasters going to keep track of what's going on? It could be tough if they don't have some form of spectator mode in there. So I'm super interested to see something like that. And other than that, what I really want to see is some sort of built-in tournament mode. Because I would like to be able to play tournaments from right here at home. Tournaments that just keep happening. So like you can pay X amount of gold, enter a tournament, wait for other people to enter. Once it's full of players, say eight people, whatever. Eight people all enter, then they fight it out in a bracket that you can see. You can see these brackets. So it'll take you to a different screen, sort of like the play mode screen or the practice mode screen, where you'll see the bracket, you'll have your deck choices, you'll pick your deck, you'll queue up, you'll play against someone, then you'll either advance or get knocked out. That'll be fun. So a tournament mode and achievements is the other thing that I want to see. I want them to put a proper UI in for achievements so we can easily keep track of what we've done and what we still have to do and I want them to add more achievements. Then, finally, I'd love to see some more stuff in the in-game store other than just card packs but that's something that I think is far further than secondary. It's not that important right now. But that's it for Hearthstone. Starcraft 2. Nothing I specifically want to see. Anything to do with Legacy of the Void will be fun. I'm not super into StarCraft 2 right now, so something to 
re-enthuse me would be great to get me interested in the game again, keen for it again. That's all I'm asking for. Truly, that's it. World of Warcraft. This one is interesting because I would like to see them do something with that shoddy looking engine that they've got. I would say it's a long shot saying that I want to see a complete redo of the engine. So like almost an entirely new engine for the game. That, that would be an extreme long shot. But I want them to do something special with the engine to make it look like a game from, you know, maybe the past two or three years. Because that game does really look kind of old. And in videos and trailers and stuff like that, you don't see it so much. You don't, because some of the machinima type videos they make with it look really impressive. The cinematic type videos, really impressive. But when you're actually in the game, it doesn't look that great. So I want some sort of visual overall. Then, I just want something in that Outland setting that I mentioned before that can just pull me back in. Because I wouldn't mind playing World of Warcraft. Absolutely not. That would be great. I would like for it to be interesting, for it to be entertaining, for it to be fun, for it to be something that I would actually like to do on a, an almost daily basis. Just something that I'd like to be excited for. So, some new features perhaps. I mean, there were a bunch of rumors floating around of what could be added. I'm obviously always keen for things like the pet battles, so anything fun like that that gets added. Maybe some sort of crossover between Hearthstone and World of Warcraft, that could be cool to see. But I just don't want to see a whole bunch of new instances and raids. I want to see other stuff. I want to see them do fun and exciting stuff to make this game appeal to a wider audience again. And sure, there are millions of players still playing it, but slowly but surely it's losing the numbers. And while there isn't some other big game to just snatch all those numbers up, it still makes me kind of sad because there's a lot of potential there. The one other thing I could say that I would like is for the game to go free to play. Fully free to play. They could add microtransactions of some sort into the game. I think that would be a brilliant move by Blizzard. But who knows if that will happen. Diablo 3. Reaper of Souls. I want to see more of the Crusader. I want to see... Or at least hear how big that new act is going to be. Because I want it to be pretty substantial. I want to see what new followers we could be getting. I want to see what they're doing new for the other classes. What reason do I have to jump back in on my wizard? Tempt me. Make me play my wizard instead of jumping onto a crusader. Do it. That's what I want to see. I want to see the game on PlayStation 4. Kind of keen to see how smooth it runs, how nice it looks. I want to see what kind of visual improvements they'd make all around. Because they do have more to mess around with now. They've had more time to optimize things. I want to see how the new loot system works. Kind of excited for that. And I want to see what the game is going to work like without the auction house. It's going to be fun. Lots of fun. Other than that, I want them to just add something to the game. And I think that's going to be the Nephilim runs and all that other end game stuff that would make me stick around and play it after I hit max level. More reasons to log in every day. That's what I want. And to play with friends too. That'll be cool. Next, Heroes of the Storm. I don't know what to expect. What I would love to see for Heroes of the Storm, Storm. It's so difficult with Heart of the Swarm and Heroes of the Storm. Some people were actually talking about that and saying, why would they want two HOTS shortened game names? But it's not going to be a problem because Heart of the Swarm won't be around for much longer. Soon it's going to be Legacy of the Void. And then HOTS will belong to Heroes of the Storm. So it's going to be okay. That slot will open up. Heroes of the Storm will claim it. So that's cool. That's fine. And what I want to see from this game is something fun. Something easy to get into, something difficult to master, obviously. An alternative to the sometimes a little bit too hardcore Dota 2 and, in my honest opinion, kind of trashy League of Legends. I know that's probably going to anger a whole lot of people, but League of Legends is not for me. I've always said that it's just not my type of game. I played it once or twice and it was reasonably fun, but I don't like the feel of it. It just doesn't feel like the kind of game that I would be able to play extensively and enjoy. So I want them to strike a balance there. And 
I'd be very excited if they made a whole new engine for the game and made it sort of fun looking, not cartoony looking, but cartoony maybe in the same way that World of Warcraft is cartoony, not sharp and hardcore like StarCraft 2. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they're moving it out of the StarCraft 2 engine, but man, the chances are slim that that's gonna happen. The fact that they've been so secretive about what's going to happen with it, or at least what it even looks like, means that they could potentially have done something like that. So I'm super keen for all of that. Heart of the of oh, Heroes of the Storm, it's gonna take a while. I apologize, it's gonna take a while to get used to that, is going to be a whole lot of fun, regardless of what it ends up being. Because just think about it, Blizzard's gonna have a whole bunch of games you can access for free and play for free. You can really play World of Warcraft and Starcraft 2 for free with the starter editions and Diablo 3. So they're going to have those plus Hearthstone, which is fully free to play, plus Heroes of the Storm. That's amazing. They really are looking to the future and doing what needs to be done for them to survive in this day and age. So that's it. I realize I went a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but Blizzard, BlizzCon and their games... They deserve it. It all ends up being worth it. It's so worth it talking for 16 and a half minutes about Blizzard and their games that I'm so passionate about. So I did it. I done did it and it's done. Please, please, please let me know what you guys are excited for. What do you desperately want to see at BlizzCon 2013? Did you buy a virtual ticket? I fortunately enough received a virtual ticket and I'm set to watch all of it. The stuff that I don't get to see perhaps because it overlaps with other stuff, I will watch maybe the next day because I can get to watch the recordings of it or whatever, the backups of those videos for how many ever days to come. They leave them there for us to watch. Did you get a virtual ticket? Are you excited for the goodies that you get with it? We still haven't been shown what the Hearthstone card is. Kind of keen to see what that is. Which of those games, Hearthstone, Starcraft 2, World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, or Heroes of the Storm, are you most excited for? Because it is exciting. It really is. Let me know below. And check back here tomorrow for another BlizzCon themed video. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to spoil it though. But you'll see it and you will enjoy it. Happy that.